So you ended up down by the finish line yesterday when things started to unfold? Yes. What did you see? Um, I was about a block away, so I didn't see anything. I could just hear it and feel the percussion and um, kind of feel the vibration. So you were able to actually feel the shockwave from the explosion? Yes. What did it feel like? Kind of like when somebody drives by with too much bass in the car and you kind of feel it in your body. Yeah. Were you knocked off your feet or anything no. of that nature? No. What was the scene like afterwards? Um, people running. People were scared and crying and confused and didn't know which way to go or where to, what to do. What idea did you have of what had happened? I asked somebody if it was thunder and he said no it wasn't thunder and, and so I kept thinking that maybe one of the subway had wrecked or something. Was there any communication from the police? Not at that point, no. The police weren't there with us at that point. How did you know what to do? I didn't know what to do until um, they barricaded us on the block that we were on and they wouldn't let us leave the block. There were security guards on the corners and they wouldn't let you, they had us like barricaded in on the block and they wouldn't let us leave the block. If you tried to leave the block, they kept kicking you back on your block and telling you to stay out of the road because there were police cars and ambulances and fire trucks going every which direction and so they wouldn't let you leave the block. How long were you kind of trapped in that one place? Um, a few hours. And eventually you were able to make your way back over to the Holiday Um. I made my way over to a, another hotel, and they tried to call me a limo, they tried to call me a shuttle, they tried to call me a cab, and there was no public transportation of any kind. So I asked the police officer if I could just run back to the hotel, and he said he didn't advise it because they didn't know if there were more bombs, but he wouldn't stop me. And um, so I asked him to give me very simple directions to get back to my hotel because I wasn't from the area, didn't know the area. So he gave me very simple instructions on how to get back, and I just took off running. What kind of experience was that, walking the streets, running the streets of Boston after the event? It was scary because there were helicopters everywhere. You could hear the helicopters overhead, and you could hear the sirens everywhere, and you didn't know if there was going to be more bombs going off. But the people of Boston were so nice and helpful. One girl, um, I was running, and I had to use the bathroom because the hotels wouldn't let you in to use the bathroom without a key. And so one girl offered me um, to use her bathroom in her apartment, so I went in and used her bathroom. She offered me water. She filled up my water bottle. And she offered me snacks um, and offered me a phone, but I had my phone with me, so I was okay there. But the people of Boston were really nice.